A-level history at County High is a popular and very rewarding subject. It's rewarding not only because historically we've achieved excellent results, but it's rewarding because our students find the subject really engaging, interesting, and it gives them not just a deep understanding of the societies and developments which they have to study about the past, but students comment upon how important their study of history has been in then helping them understand the world, in giving them powerful understanding which is relevant today. A-level history is divided into three components. Component one is Russia. You will study Tsarist and Communist Russia between 1855 and 1964. You'll study the reigns of Alexander II, Alexander III, and the last Tsar, the last Emperor of Russia, Nicholas II. You will study the revolutions of 1917, the Russian revolutions which brought down Tsar Nicholas II and Tsars absolutely, and which led to the communists coming to power. You'll then learn about how under Lenin, Stalin and Khrushchev, Russia was transformed into a communist society. In component two, you'll learn about the Wars of the Roses between 1450 and 1499. You'll learn about the conflict between the Lancastrians and the Yorkists over the English throne. In component three, you'll do a non-examined assessment or NEA which is an independent investigation of around a 100 year period. Although you technically have free choice on what you investigate, most students investigate Germany around the period 1848 to 1945. And we help students in terms of sourcing their resources and guide them in their investigations. As you can see from the information here, component one and component two make up 80% of the course. And this part of the course is examined. These examinations are two hours, 30 minutes in length. And they both component one and component two will effectively get you to write three essays. This is very different to GCSE. Whereas at GCSE, you lo have lots of short answer questions and very little time to plan and think. Our students in A-level history always comment about how liberating, how enjoyable it is to be able to have the time and space to think and to argue and to write extended answers to questions which they genuinely have a view on rather than jumping through hoops. That said, you can obviously see extended writing is a key part of the assessment and you need to ask yourself, is this one of your key skills? In the NEA, which only makes up 20%, you have to write a 4,500 word assignment. And although that on the outside appears to be uh, a long uh, piece of work, it's actually divided up into three parts and actually keeping under that word limit in your three parts will be one of your biggest challenges. Students who study A-level history have access to a wide range of career and higher education opportunities. We have a real success rate on getting students into the top Russell Group universities and Oxbridge to study A-level history. By the end of your course, you'd have learned how to analyse and evaluate information how to weigh up evidence, how to communicate complex ideas effectively and to construct your own powerful arguments. These skills will help you in other subjects, other subjects that might be science, it might be economics, it might be more obviously another social science or humanities subject. The skills which you get by studying A-level history are recognised and valued by employers, universities and colleges. <clears throat> history provides an excellent foundation for a number of top careers, including law, journalism, business, management, civil service, 
and government. Indeed, many prime ministers and politicians study history. It's also important to say that many of our history students also choose history as a subject in combination with science subjects too. What can I do to prepare? Well, what you can do is you can make use of all of the support and resources which are available to you, which give you an indication of preparatory reading and preparatory activities that you can do to make sure that you hit the ground running when you start the course uh, next September. I hope this has been informative. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. My email's on the first slide. The best of luck.